Hey guys, it's me, and I've learned how to become a warden. I'm here in my epic warden airship next to this woodland mansion, cruising along the midnight skies. And as we sail here together, I'm gonna tell you my story about how I became the warden and got all these cool new blocks. It all started when I was in the ancient city fighting the warden. I decided to use these soul lanterns and as I was fighting him, I decided to place some down next to him. Now what we see here is I have just died next to those soul lanterns. And then, I kill the warden right next to those soul lanterns. Now what I'm suspecting is both of our souls got sucked up into these lanterns and as I destroyed them, those spirits got sucked up into me. And now I have the ability to transform into the warden. And so, with this new fate I had acquired, and with my new heart or soul of the warden, I decided it was time to integrate myself into warden civilization. Right as I stepped through the portal, I was greeted with new blocks, familiar ores, and these cute but dangerous little slimes. Now I was totally pleased to find I could shockwave mobs with my warden ability. I found these cool trees kind of like the chorus fruit you find at the end, and this nice green moss too. You can make these plates with the slime I got, which you can put on iron armor. I continued my journey with one successful fall and one not so much. Here's where I finally discovered some interesting mobs. And I'm not quite sure if these are young wardens or decrepit wardens, but their bones can be used for staffs and even the soul elytra. So I collected their souls and transformed into one for fun. Now this caught me way off guard. Whoa! That is pretty cool. I tried to collect it, but unfortunately it just breaks even with silk touch. Anyway, I continued my journey onto the next biome. And that's when this joker came along. I collected some of this cool glowstone kind of thing and got into a bit of trouble with a group of these guys. But that's nothing a bit of quick thinking, scaffolding, and warden charge beam can't fix. Now there was a short gap of time where my recording software went black, but essentially I caught a phantom and morphed into it and now I can fly around. Anyway, from this point I decided it was time to head home and play with some of the new toys I had found. And so I created my epic warden spaceship. Now with the structure built and it fully functional, I just added some small finishing touches, transformed into the warden, and now here we are. So let me show you around my spaceship a little bit. We've got our bed, which if I just get in the driver's seat, you'll see we are on cruise control, driving across the ocean. I can get off the driver's seat and even tuck in, setting my spawn on the ship and making it day. I love just looking out the windows and enjoying the ride. I think that's a sunken pirate ship out there. Anyway, we've got our shulker boxes down here. We've got more up here. This is our driving our steering wheel. So if I just press A or D, I can steer the ship wherever I want. I think I might turn back towards that pirate ship. And you can even see my little warden body through the window, which is just awesome. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we've got this cool like warden frowny face glass, which I quite like. If you're wondering how we get in and out of the spaceship, you might have noticed there's a little slit in here. If I transform into our phantom and get flying. Oh, it's interesting. If you fly, you actually get left behind. Makes sense. I can just fly in and out of our little slit there, which I think is just awesome. There's our little ship going along above the pirate ship and the wooden mansion over there. Isn't that just awesome? So if we head back into our ship, just go back into Warden. You can see my health has just got absolutely cut off. And that can drain a lot of hunger too. 
So that's why I've got this dispenser here. So if I just hit the button, boom, boom. Oh, we're gonna crash. Better turn. Ooh. Okay, we actually did crash there. No problem. So yeah, that was my journey. Let me know what you liked about this video or what you want to see in the future. And you can check out this video if you're interested in how I made a castle out of only chickens. Thank you so much for watching.